Hi, I'm Valeria Popov. I cured my gestational diabetes, got off insulin, lost weight and sustained my weight loss for two and a half years now. I got rid of my allergies and constant constipation and I did it by switching to a plant-based exclusively whole food plant, uh, lifestyle. And I wanna show you that you can achieve your health goals too. You can lose weight and get healthy. Today, I want to uh, share with you my favorite soup recipe that I batch cook and eat almost every day and I cook it once a week. So I'm going to use my six words a quart Instapot for it. Uh, first ingredient that's gonna go in is kale. So I shredded uh, five leaves of curly kale. Uh, I'm going to put that in first. Um, and then I'm really gonna go in and press it because curly kale, um, it has bulk, but when it actually cooks, it reduces a lot. So I really need some room for my other vegetables. <laughs> so I'm going to press it down. Then I'm going to have two cups of carrots. That goes in. I'm going to have two cups of celery. That goes in. One and a half cup, cups of um, bell, uh, bell pepper. Choose your bell pepper with color. So green bell pepper doesn't have all the um, nutrients that the red or orange, it's actually the same bell pepper um but it's just the ripeness of it is different i always like before i went plant-based i always thought that there are different kinds of peppers like the green ones the yellow the orange the red but actually it's the ripeness of it so the riper it is if you like i would prefer to use a red one but i just don't have one i have orange one so which is good too so just a little note <laughs> So that's my ingredients uh, vegetable wise. You can actually use any vegetable you like. Um, in there, you can use mushrooms. That's something that I have. We just came back from vacation and we did a little order of Instacart and um, that's what I got today. And that's what I'm using. So it has kale, zucchini, bell pepper, and celery. Then I'm going to use my spices. Uh, I'm going to use two bay leaves. I'm going to use four tablespoons of table tasty. It's a salt substitute and it's delicious. I don't use salt in my cooking. I'm going to use one table, tablespoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to finish it with a strained tomato it's reduced tomatoes it's really really good uh, so the consistency it's thicker than a tomato juice but it's thinner than a tomato paste and it's delicious it's so good and it's great for like a soup base or if you do like a sautés or ragouts so that goes in and I'm going to finish it with water and Instapot they have a max line so I go up to that line so let's see how much. It all depends like how much veggies you, you use. I really like my soups really thick. Um, actually, I'm gonna need a little bit more. So I like my soups really, really thick. Not like <laughs> a lot of veggies goes in there. So here we go, it's to the max. And now I'm just going to stir it a little bit so all the spices will combine and won't like be clunk on the top. I'm gonna show you how it looks like before I close my lid. Here we go. It already smells so delicious, it looks so delicious. Here you go, guys. I'll show you. So that's what it is. It looks really, really yummy. And now I'm gonna turn my Instapot on. So I'm gonna cook it on high pressure for um, for uh, four minutes. So let me set it up. High pressure, four minutes. Here we go. I'm gonna show you how it looks like when it's all done. Hey, I am back. So the soup is ready. I just released the pressure. I do not let uh, my soup sit with a natural release because the vegetables get, they get too soft. Like, soft and soggy. I like it with a little crunch uh, too. And uh, so I just released uh, the pressure. I'm gonna open it now and see how it looks like. Go, it smells 
so delicious and it looks so good. Here we go, I'm just gonna mix a little bit. Here we go. We're gonna pour it into the bowl. So you'll be able to see how beautiful and delicious it is. Here we go. All right, here we go. It looks really, really good and it smells so good. Oh my God, it's so yummy. I'm so ready for dinner. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe.